and there's a well quite a big problem there's a leak right over the diesel heater Almost one year ago, I bought an old 45 foot narrowboat to renovate with my boyfriend Mike and turn into our tiny, floating, off-grid home. Since then, we've ripped out the interior, repainted, installed new windows and much more, sharing the highs and the lows here with you along the way. Subscribe if you'd like to join us on our journey to narrowboat living. What I'll do is I will cut these first, the floors, and then I think the sides come. Hmm. Okay, does it matter if I do these or this side first? Something tells me that this will be harder than I thought it was going to be. But that's all good. It's all good. It's all part of the learning process. First thing is these floors. over that side there's a gap but i think it should be okay because this piece of ply should be that thickness or a little bit thicker than that so you shouldn't be able to see that really As you can see, we've got the stern greaser here, so I can't fit this 100% yet because I haven't cut a hole for that. We're not entirely sure whether to move it to this side where the electrics will go, or I'm thinking I could just box it in on this side. The only reason we're not quite sure is because there's going to be a storage cupboard for, you know, bags and coats and shoes, so we don't really want to get grease on them, but this looks like it's a really good fit. So I know that it would make sense to move the stern greaser to the other side, but I think I'm just going to box it in because it'll be less work, I think. And there's already so much to do as it is. I don't really want to add anything unnecessary to the workload. It's the coldest hand that run down this land where the ocean lands. After making the first two cuts, I realized that I couldn't make the third cut without a hole saw, which I don't have. So what I thought was gonna be the easiest and best solution ended up being wrong. But that's fine because I decided to remove the stern greaser instead, like I should have done in the first place, and I'll install it in the engine bay at a later date. What if, instead of cutting a whole new one of these boards, because of the square that I cut into it. If I put the board this way around, that one will be hidden anyway by this wall. And then I'll just maybe put some glue there or something in this little cut. That's the way to go. The lazy way might be the way to go. Mike might disagree, but. I've just been cutting up some wood so I can pack the battens because I'm not sure if you can see this, I'll show you in a second, but 
some well all of the buttons that are in there at the moment aren't the same width as the insulation so yeah so i've just been cutting up extra timber to pack those out so they are the same width and then once that's done i think i'll move on to cutting up some more battens for the other walls and the ceiling and then maybe if i've got time go to b q and get some tng I could actually do this all day. Like it is so much fun. I used to think for some reason, I don't even remember why, I used to think that I preferred working with metal to the wood. I think it's just because we've been working with the metal and the rust and everything for almost a year now. And so it's my comfort zone, but I could do this all day. This is so much fun. <laughs> slightly different but I'm gonna have to see this one just after a few yeah, it's quite nice low touch actually I don't know if I like any of them oh you know what I do like the middle one the dark one you're right is too dark the middle one and this one are a bit better I'm just worried I'll, I'll pick one and be like, mm, I don't like it. What was I about to do? I went in my phone for a reason. Mm -hmm. I've got all bits in this oh. thing. When all hope has escaped and the darkness waits, I'll be there when you call. 
If your direction home is lost amongst the cold, I'll be there when you call me. Now I'm just about to try some stains out on this piece of wood because I already stained the wood but I'm not 100% sold on the colour so let's just try some others just to be sure. So I'm back at the boat and I'm gonna crack on with putting the walls up I think, or trying to. We'll see how long it actually takes me to do, but yeah, I'm gonna put the walls up hopefully and um, undercoat them if I get the walls up, I don't know. I try not to be too specific about when I'm gonna get things done because things on a boat just always seem to take a lot, lot longer than you think that they will. Um, but this is, what it currently is looking like in there. So I want to put the walls up on these sides. I'm also going to spray paint these windows black because we were gonna keep them and then we realized there's just no point. This is just, these are just cupboards and if we block up the windows, it'll just mean that there's a little bit more space in here if we wanna put like shelves up or something, I don't know. So yes, yeah, so I've bought some spray paint and I'm going to spray those before I get started on the walls. <laughs> oh, Shake the can for two minutes. Really? Okay, that'll do. This does not
we've got a little bit of a problem. There's a, well, quite a big problem. There's a leak right over the diesel heater. Um, and we think it's because the boat needs to lean back more. The back of it, well, I know that the back of it needs to go further in the water and the gutters are at the back, but because the boat is like this slightly, um, the water is pooling this side and it isn't going that side out of the gutters. So I'm going to try, I'm not sure if you can see this uh, ballast down here, but I'm going to try and put some of that in the engine bay to weigh it down as much as I possibly can and see if that helps. Oh my be okay to be honest and I'm really glad that I discovered this now and that I happen to be here for the torrential rain because if I wasn't then and I, and I just came here during dry days or sunny days then I wouldn't have noticed so so it pays off to come and work here when it's raining it's the only way that you figure out if you've got any leaks. Okay, so I left the boat just briefly to get dinner and then um, and also a cup of tea because I was gasping for a tea. I don't know, call me crazy, but I don't feel that bothered about the diesel heater leak. Not bothered, but like I don't feel it doesn't worry me very much because I think it's going to be okay. People put diesel heaters under their cars so they must get rained on. So that's my theory. <laughs> that's my theory. Um, when I think about like, oh, could the water have damaged the diesel heater? I don't think that it has. Um, we will see. It will really suck if it does. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just have to see. I'm still really chuffed with the amount that I got done today because I honestly didn't think that I was going to get this much done. I think I am going to head back to the boat in a sec. It's past five o'clock, but I'm going to head back to the boat and check on the leak. But yeah, that's, that's the long and short of it today. <laughs> so I have set up my little contraption so that the water flows down this into the bucket and I have popped the bilge pump in there as well so I'm just gonna wait it out and if the rain stops then I'll open the engine bay again quickly clip the hose on so the water definitely will be bilged out of the boat um, and then I need to or before then I need to to also connect the bilge pump wires so that it's actually working all over it. Bird poo that I didn't clean off last time. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna show you because you're not gonna want to see it. But I am gonna clean it off. Oh it's hard. Ah, I just touched it. Just cover up the bird poo.
Yeah, we don't want that going in the water. No. If you fall in though, I, I will laugh. Can you film it first? <laughs> yeah, I'll film it first and then I'll laugh. So Mike found a really good permanent solution for the leak over the diesel heater, which was to drill a hole into the side of the boat and a hole into the gutter and connect them with a hose so that if the water pools there, then it's just gonna drain right out of the boat instead of dripping into the engine bay. Oh my goodness, it looks good. Thanks for watching and a special thank you to Emma and Don Rizzi for buying us coffees recently. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate every like and subscribe as well. So if you'd like to follow along with our journey, do remember to subscribe and we will see you in the next vlog.